Hey guys, Ken the Movie King, and it's been a busy week, so I kind of wanted to rush through this. I don't like to do that, but I have to always do um, the Blu-ray updates, you know, end of the month. I do that for you guys. I enjoy doing it for you guys to show you what I picked up for the month of uh, May, and I'm too busy to put on, put on a t-shirt. I just came back from martial arts, so I am got out of the shower and didn't have time I just want to rush and do this thing I didn't pick up a lot for the month of May but next month June is my birthday month so maybe you know I'm gonna have a bigger much much bigger um, collection next month but let's just jump right into it don't wanna waste you guys time and see what I picked up okay so let's start out with comedy I only picked up one as you notice I usually rarely pick up comedies or if I do it's only one um, but I love this movie always will um, it's what I watched when I was in junior high school. I don't know, I love it. it and it's based in um, where I'm at from, um, Seattle in Washington, so that's pretty cool. Oh my gosh, let me just drop. Um, anyway, so the, the, the first movie I picked up is 10 Things I Hate About You. Uh, Heath Ledger in an early role. I like this movie a lot. Um... Let me know if you guys like this movie. I don't know. It's I enjoy the hell out of it. I don't know why. It's not. It's not nothing like great. It's n nothing worthy. It's not a ten plus A plus movie, but I love it. Uh, so let's go down to my action movies. Uh, one I picked up the classic. I love this movie a lot. Um, old school. If you have not checked it out, check it out. I heard they're remaking it. I, I think the re original director is going to remake it, but it's Warriors come out to play. The Warriors. Haven't had this in my collection. I picked it up Best Buy. $5.99. Can't beat that. Had to get it in my collection. Um, another movie I picked up. Well, I got the coupon still. Um, there's this move. There's this uh, local shop here in Washington called Vortex Videos. They got some awesome movies there, but um, and good deals. Anyways, um, well, a lot of big names in this movie, but I haven't seen this movie. I know it's a uh, uh, the girl that used to be in the UFC, uh, she also was in Deadpool, she fought with uh, Colossus, if you don't know, who she is, Gina Carre uh, Carrero, Car uh, Gina Carrero, I'm just pronouncing her name wrong, but anyways, um, I know she's married, uh, or she's dating a Muay Thai fighter, which is pretty, pretty cool, but, um, it's Haywire, Why am I with I've never seen this movie, so if you guys have seen it, let me know, I was curious about it. Got a kind of big names in here. I mean, Michael Douglas is in here, and Antonio Banderas. You can't go wrong with Antonio Banderas. So he's in this movie as well. Bill Paxton, rest in peace. Uh, I love Bill Paxton. So, huh? There's a lot of big names in this movie. I don't know. Let me know. Wow, Shannon Tatum. Uh, but anyways, let me know if um you guys seen this movie. If you have seen this movie, let me know. G give me your guys' review. I want to know if it's a uh, if it's action part. If there is martial arts in this movie, I. I I'm thinking because she, you know, she was in the UFC that would show her skills. I mean, they showed her skills on um, Deadpool, which her fighting Colossus. But let me know. Let me know if it's a good action movie or not. Okay, so one that I, I am gonna probably review. I, I'm looking forward to this movie. I'm not. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do a trilogy, but this is the third movie in the um, uh, uh, um, what do you call it? SPL. Uh, there's Kill Zone, Kill Zone One, Kill Zone Two. Is it Kill Zone? God. I can't believe I'm getting the. Hold on a second. Yeah, Killzone. Killzone one, Killzone two. This is supposed to be the third movie, um, in the trilogy. Yeah. So, I've never seen. I haven't seen this movie, so I'm looking forward to it. But if you've seen Killzone one, it's with Donnie Yen, um, and then Killzone two is with Tony Jaa. I probably will review those movies. But this is the third one that came out, and it's Paradox. So I'm looking forward to this movie. I've read some reviews that Tony Jaa's not really in this movie, even though he's featured in the movie, but I don't know. He was a main part in the second movie. I love the second movie. I think the second movie was awesome. Actually, to be honest, I don't know. i got to rewatch them, but I like the second movie better than the first movie. That's my opinion um, of the Killzone. I, I just found Killzone. I, okay, I'll get into that movie, but I, like, I love Killzone a lot, and Tony Jaa's the man, so... I'm looking forward for Paradox. This is my martial arts collection that I picked up. Um, the next one, okay, this is another one that I, I prefer the sequel 
more than this movie, but I had to pick it up for the collection because I have the sequel, and that is Ninja. Scott Atkins, Ninja. The second one's awesome, though. Um, I don't remember. i only seen the first one one time, so I gotta rewatch it as well. Uh, another one that I picked up for my collection, for my Jet Li collection, uh, and I used to love this movie when I was younger, and I, I, also in junior high, I used to love this movie, because when I was in junior high, I remember Jet Li came out, I know he came out with Lethal Weapon, but the movie that was a big movie when I was in uh, junior high was Romeo Must Die, and um, I became a huge fanatic when, um, uh, when Romeo Must Die came out, and I would always check out all his other movies, like Legend, all these movies that were done in China, but one of them was Black Mask. And I loved the hell out of this movie when I was younger. I rewatched it recently. Yeah, it's not not my cup of tea, but hey, it's Jelly, man. Jelly's badass. You guys can't believe really, Jelly is gonna be in the Mulan. You know the, the live adaption of Mulan. You know how they had the Beauty and the Beast. They're gonna have Lion King. They're doing the Mulan, and um, and yeah, Donnie is gonna be in there, and Jelly is signed on to play in Mulan. So that's gonna be interesting. Um, okay, my last movie in my uh, martial art collection. I had to get this classic, classic, classic movie. And this is an awesome, awesome collection, the collector's edition, and that is Enter the Dragon. Bruce Lee, Enter the Dragon. So it comes like this. Here's the disc. Um, it comes with this cool little like envelope. Enter the Dragon. Uh, comes with a little patch for your clothes, for your shirt, pretty cool, can you see it? Get one of these. Get some like, postcard pictures from the movie. See this, but it moves. <laughs> Lucy's the man. Lucy will always be the man. People can't deny that. They, you can argue like, oh, Lucy's the man. But look at this. Look at this. I'll tell you this. In this gener, this time and age, this generation, the younger generation that are all into like all these other things that you know some of those older people are not into. They know who Bruce Lee is. Everyone will always know who Bruce Lee is. He's a legend. He will always be a legend. You, you can't deny that at all. But anyway, that's all of my um, martial arts that I picked up. Uh, let's get down to the horror. Now, horror movies I didn't pick up a lot. And actually, one of them is actually a cheat. was from last month. Now, I, I don't remember if I put it in my Blu-ray update, so I decided to put it on right now. Uh... To show you guys what I... I, I kind of don't know. I, I didn't want to go back and really check, but... It's a old school movie that I remember watching a long, long time ago, but really wanted to pick it up. And Synapse does some great, really some great content. Anyways, it's the um, director's cut of Intruder. It got Sam Raimi, I believe, was in this movie. I could be wrong, but I believe, yeah, Sam Raimi. Yep, he was in this movie. And Bruce Campbell, I guess, have a Campbell. I don't remember that, but I don't remember Sam Raimi. But yeah. Um, this is one of the... Okay, I'm, I'm, I was never a super fan of this series. I, I love the first movie. I love the second movie. Other than that, it's not. But I don't mind the third movie. And I mean, what company came out with this? Was this all the films? I have no idea what company came out with this. What was W? What? I don't know. Let me know. But I'm glad it came out on Blu-ray. I don't mind this. I, in my opinion, I think this is the last of the series that I don't mind, that I can handle. I'm not counting the remakes, but I'm talking about the series, the continuations, all the prequel. And I, uh, this is the last one, and that is Leatherface. So I'm glad I got this in my collection. But that is all of my horror movies. See, I totally didn't get a lot. Um, now, Steelbook, I only picked up three Steelbooks, but hey, Steelbooks, I love Steelbooks. So the first one I'm going to get out of the way, because most people have probably this Steelbook. Um... He picked it up, everyone, most people did, that collect still books, and that's Black Panther. I've not checked out this movie yet. 
I checked out Avengers. Um, I did check out Deadpool 2. I love Deadpool 2. And as I said last time, Avengers, I, I preferred Thor. Um, more uh, more the, the third Thor movie more than Avengers. I gotta say, I love Deadpool. But I'm, I'm a Deadpool uh, um, uh, fanboy. I mean, I, on the side I have a poster of Deadpool. I have a big, giant Deadpool figure here. I got Deadpool piggy bank. I got huge, I got so many Deadpool things. So I'm a big Deadpool fanatic, so maybe that's why. But I love Deadpool too. I loved it more than Avengers by far. That's my opinion. That's just my opinion. It's just my kind of humor. I, I just have that humor. I have the twisted humor. Um, that's me. But I haven't seen this movie, so who knows? Maybe I like this more than all of them. I don't know. But Black Panther it had a lot of good uh, reviews when it came, a lot of hype and all of that. But sometimes things get overhyped nowadays. Um, the next, uh, the next movie, um, that I picked up is Stillbook. I love this movie. This movie is awesome, 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 awesome as hell. I know I keep saying, but I love this movie. Like, if you've not seen this movie, don't waste your time watching this review. Anybody. Anyway, Slim Pickens, anybody. If you see this movie, you gotta check this out. This is an awesome, awesome movie. I don't know why. I love it so much. I know it's, like... It's not realistic and all that, but it's just like, it's so gritty, and things just pop out of nowhere that you just don't expect. Um, I don't want to spoil anything, but it's Children of Men. I know, I'm making it sound like it's the best thing ever, but I love this movie. I just can't get enough of it. It's just, it's just such a gritty movie. Um, so yeah, got the still book of that. The last still book I picked up, uh, I've never seen this movie, I don't know anything about it. I'm not really a fan of this actress, I gotta be honest, I'm not really a fan of hers. So, let me know if I was like, like, no, this movie is garbage, or what it is, but anyways, it's Jennifer Lawrence, and that's Red Sparrow. Now, I don't know if this is good or not. You're going to have to let me know, because, I don't know, from the trailers, it looked like it could be cool, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, that's all, you guys. That's all I picked up. It's not a lot, but it did it for you guys. Um... End of the month, every month, I will always have a Blu-ray update. Yeah, it may not have been a coming up with a lot of um, reviews lately and all that. Really, really, really busy. But when it comes to Blu-ray updates, I'll keep on doing it, keep on doing it. I'll be moving soon, so I don't know if I'll put on content when I'm dealing with my movie. Cause I have to get the internet rolling and all that stuff. But I'm going to try my best. For June, my birthday month, I'm going to try to do something. I'm going to try to do something. But anyway, that's all I got. That's all I got. Thanks for watching. You guys all take care.